I'm doing something different today. I'm, uh, I'm going for a, a walk from uh, near where I live uh, to uh, Yanvaya Slate Caverns. It's about um, maybe some, well, maybe about a mile and a half there, and a mile and, a, and possibly about two miles back. Up. I intend to take it. Uh, a different route coming back. Yes. Now, people in North um, North Wales, in, in these kind of like um, popular areas for tourists to visit, um, they uh, they do buy up uh, if well. Most of them already own uh, the properties, but uh, they kind of um, purchase the uh, properties up here, and, and really it's a it's a good income earner because then they rent them out as holiday cottages, and of course that's not uh, doesn't go down too well with um, uh, some of the locals, who because uh, it tends to drive house prices up, and uh, well, dare I say it. Uh, it brings in uh, outsiders. Uh, well, okay, but I won't go any further on that uh, rather touchy subject. Yes, you see these uh, old barns and old cottages, uh, de more or less probably derelict cottages, some of them, have all been done up. It's very pleasant round here though, these old fashioned Welsh cottages, some of them have been here for centuries. been there a long time and of course in contrast to the uh, the old cottages you've got the modern housing estates which uh, of course spring up everywhere along along the coast In 1863, Kar Salem. Salem. Uh, right. I'm coming into the uh, the village of Hian Vaya. That's where the caverns are located. They're located on the, the other side. Uh, a little out of the a little, a little bit way out of the village. Okay, um, no, I know I like those there. Uh, they come out well. Though. They're a good decorative plant. Uh, uh, are they called pampas? I'm not sure. That's the uh, Yan Fire Memorial Hall. Uh, it's a memorial to night built in night to. Uh, in memory of the 1914-1918 war, there's a plaque there with uh, names of people who lost their lives in that war. Uh, okay, and here's the... Uh, it was the chapel, Bethel, AD 1867. Now, of course, a private house. I have got this... I've uh, already got a video on this uh, little village. Uh, so uh, this is a repeat, you could say. There's the chapel back there. And that, uh, I'm coming up to the uh, Yanvar church, an old church, but um, I think it dates back to the 12th century. But you can see the uh, some quarry workings in the hillside uh, behind porch going into the church. I won't go into the, you can see the yews there. Uh, and right opposite uh, is this plaque here in infectious memory of Ben Rowlands, 1870 to 1950. 
born in this cottage in which he lived almost all his days. So that's a nice little uh, stone there to commemorate. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Even the little village, uh, it looks quite nice in the sunshine. And uh, now, this is the uh, part of the uh, long distance uh, cycle trail between uh, between Cardiff and uh, Harleyhead. We'll be walking uh, alongside. Uh, this busy road for a little while, not much, not very long. But there's the uh, there's the uh, the buildings up there. Well, you can sit outside and have a cup of tea. I think it's open till uh, four o'clock. Okay, there's a tea room open eleven to four daily. And uh, there's the build. There's the uh, where you book in there and get your ticket. Little goats, huh? Yeah, little billy goats. Interesting. He's not bothering with the, uh, this cycle path, he's going on the main road. Okay, let's get away from the busy main road and go up to the uh, the prime uh, attraction. Okay, so that's uh, outdoor seat in there. So I have well, I just unfortunately I just had a cup of uh, coffee just before I left, which was only what less than half an hour ago. Uh, okay, so. It's all been, I've been walking down, since I left the house, I've been walking downhill, very easy walking. Uh, 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 now it's all uphill, unfortunately. Uh, you, you march down the, the hill and then march up it, up the hill again. You only have the slate ca caverns here, which you also have a, a farm park for the kids. This is the parking for the farm park over there. A tea room more of the road up the hill great view yeah there it is a pet farm basically for the uh, for the kids now I might have to lose this height again which I'm uh, kind of gradually climbing up well, about a hundred, maybe not more than a hundred feet from the road. Uh, if, I'm hoping there's a there's a, a a footpath that goes up up the up the up the hill above the uh, uh, the caverns. But I've never been along it, and uh, so it may uh, it's marked on the map, but it might not uh, it might not be kept up. Now it's getting towards the end of September. But, uh, but I think there are still quite a few visitors. Uh, the kids, of course, come back to school, but there's, uh, well, I think there's quite a few visitors there, so I won't have the place to myself, put it that way. Here it is, the great view that's advertised. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so, um, Shell Island over there. This is going to be a bit awkward to go into the caverns because you need a torch. That's why I just bought my tickets. And it's going to be awkward to uh, take photography. So I'll, um, and of course they provide you with a, the torch and uh, a helmet, which looks by the judge, <laughs> judging by these sharp rocks here, you need uh, definitely need the helmet. Oh, it's not too bad. 
Uh, no entry without tickets. Well, I've got my ticket, but no one here to check to make sure I'm all right. Okay, muy buen. Yeah, it's the first time I just mentioned this. It's the first time I've um, I've been here, even though I live just over a mile away as the crow flies. All right here for taking uh, photography. I think there's nine caverns. Look at that. It is quite impressive. Uh, I think there's nine caverns in this uh, complex, all, all told. And funny enough, I, I couldn't find any uh, decent videos on this, uh, on uh, these caverns on YouTube. Uh, okay, let's look at the information. Give some, uh, uh, give some information on it. This is not, this is the largest of the caverns. I just came through there. And this is um, uh, this was uh, this mine was opened in 1873 and finished working in 1906. 1906. Okay, so I'll go through here and then later on go down there. There's enough light in here, I think, for photography. Yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. Yeah, piece of history. And uh, impressive caverns, uh, you, you certainly wouldn't, uh, cavern number two, you certainly wouldn't uh, suspect they were here just uh, driving by on the road. And of course you might need, uh, as this is the helmet, you can get a nasty bump on the head. Yeah, oh, oh, all right, so this is um, all quite well lit up, it's not that, it's not that bad. Uh, I think I can get a... Uh, uh, a video inside here. Yeah. Might take a while to focus. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, as well, if you do it, uh, six pounds for an old age pensioner to uh, come in here. You will see, I'll just see down into the mine's second level. All right, so down there somewhere in the pits. <laughs> The pit of uh, the abyss is further mines. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, I think, cavern number three. And you can't go any further. This is uh, just to show this, uh, this area down here, which I'll probably be uh, going down to see in uh, shortly. Okay, so I'll return a few steps now. And then go go down to explore the other caverns. Yes, this is uh, well worth coming. I <laughs> surprised really. I've never. It's um, it's not um, well. The signs on the side of the road, but otherwise, uh, not, it's not all that well advertised. I think anyway. The dressing machine and some of the tools the miners the miners used. Some of the examples of slate. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to have to put the camera away as I go down these steps. Okay, now the, the miners, uh, well, well over a hundred years ago, didn't have those steps uh, they put on for the likes of uh, me. They use these steps here, I don't know if you can see them. Right. Looks like a bit of uh, the track. Okay, um... Now apparently above me there's 200 foot of uh, solid uh, granite formed 500 million years ago. It's probably a bit too dark now to pick up uh, pick up the size of this uh, cavern. Uh, information. On this cavern number four, I can feel the, feel the water dripping up there. Uh, not feel it, I can hear it. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Uh, I'd, be, I'd climb up there and uh, on chains. And uh, all by, done by candlelight, apparently. What's over here?
ventilation shaft. You probably can't see it, but that's where that, the typical working conditions up there. The 30 degree slope, that's how the, the miners worked on the third, uh, taking out the slate. But you can, I don't know if you can see it. It's well, <laughs> this camera is not bad, but it's well, it won't take uh, videos in, in darkness. Cavern number five. It's a, that's a, an old, uh, what do you call them? These uh, uh, kind of containers. For, they, they probably ran on tracks to remove the uh, slate. That's a dead end there. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm afraid it's, uh, as the further down you go, the worse, uh, the more the darker it gets. So, uh, uh, all, you'll, all you'll see is darkness. Uh, yeah. Okay. Press the button to see the lights disappear. Okay, so this is where we got a bit of light. But if I press the button, does anything happen? Okay, it does, yeah. So that's the conditions the miners would be in. Oh, with the candlelight, of course. This is a slate slab. All these cabins were uh, dug out in search for a good uh, slate. Uh, a lot of it all done by hand, apparently. Yeah. So the miners uh, died at an early age. Okay, this is cavern number nine, the final cavern, and then they gave up. Um, Work in this uh, uh, th th this uh, this mine because they they ran out of good slate. Yeah, cavern number nine, the smallest last cavern. Uh, okay. Okay. This is um, this is the end of the uh, self tour. Uh, this is where the the, the miners apparently. This is where they ate when they, you know, brought their lunch to uh, work, and uh, ate ate uh, uh, kind of like a canteen. Huh. Yeah, yeah, rough, rough, and that's uh, of course um, wages now. Let's face it, it's totally different. And there's benefits, of course. Uh, those didn't exist uh, when the uh, miners were working. Uh, this uh, this mine. Okay, so that's uh, that's the end. Uh, you just could go back the way we came on the way back. But I think I seem to have missed this. Can't remember seeing this. This is the crane they used to uh, lift the uh, uh, slabs of uh, slate onto the trucks. And those shelves there, apparently, that's uh, this mine was taken over. All the uh, by the Ministry of Defence during the Second World War and uh, 2,000 tonnes of uh, TNT was stored here. Yeah, there's the information, I kind of uh, miss that. Uh, did I miss anything else? I must have gone through here, this is... Uh, yeah. Huh. yeah. Okay, this is the viewing platform. Yeah, this is... Uh, you can, well, I call it the viewing platform. You, you can look down into the lower caverns. Yeah, down there. Way down there somewhere. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Muy interesante. Okay, that's the view from uh, 
from the uh, Cavern uh, uh, Cafe. That's the village of Yanvar over there. Right there. And, uh, let's see, you can see the church down there as well. It's a very pleasant spot in the sunshine. Okay, so I ordered a cup of tea and a scone. But I don't think there's a footpath uh, from this car park up uh, further up the hill, so I might have to just retrace some steps. I won't. I'll just go back the way I came. Just had a chat with a friendly uh, 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 woman in the uh, ca cafe there. And but look at this. Yeah, so uh, I missed this coming up. Okay, so I'll go back to my original plan. Yeah. Um, a public right of way, a permissive pu footpath, and it looks quite well trodden. Okay, so I'll, uh, rather than descend all the way down and uh, climb back up again, I'm, I'm already halfway up the hill. Oh, I like this. Uh, but when I asked the, uh, uh, the lady in the gift shop, she didn't seem to know uh, there, was a, uh, there was a footpath going up here. <laughs> ah. I live just over a mile away, and I've never been on this little footpath. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this uh, this gives me a chance to work off that cream tea I've just had. Uh, it's a short climb, and uh, like the general who marched his troops up the hill and then back down again, I I didn't need to. Uh, March back down again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. Have I spoken too soon? Okay, the path goes between these uh, two fences. And, uh, uh, and, of course, this time of year the ferns do take hold. They stop growing though. Uh, so, um, so, so, so this is a trodden footpath, so they haven't completely taken over. Okay, so the, so far so good. No problem. Uh, it's somewhat a little bit overgrown, but uh, quite passable. Uh, I've never taken that particular little footpath before, but I have gone along here several times. Uh, okay, so I'll go through a farm here now. Farm, it was a farm at one time. I don't think you know, it, it, may, it may still be. I, I don't think so, though. Uh, you can see that barn there with the old steps that went up yeah, to the uh, upper floor of the barn. Okay. Uh, of course um, the uh, people that uh, uh, own some of these homes, nice homes, uh, have to put up with um, public right-of-ways going right by, by their doorstep. I'm not sure if, uh, huh, well, uh, I ought to give a, I like the idea of st a strangers walking uh, right by. It's a nice walking area though. I'm, I'm lucky to be living where I am. But of course, uh, just about any, anywhere in the country, Wales, England, and Scotland, anywhere in the country, uh, is uh, well even in the city, right? Excellent walks to be had everywhere. That's a nice camping field there, freshly mowed grass, and uh, they used to have caravans there, but uh, looks like uh, they've set up these uh, kind of uh, like wigwam wigwam <laughs> tents. Uh, 
Maybe they're renting them out to holiday makers. And there's another, uh, what kind of gypsy style, uh, what do you call them, shepherd's hut? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's new since I was last here. Say, so I have taken, uh, I couldn't see, uh, at low tide you're supposed to be able to see St. Patrick's Causeway uh, from, uh, from here. But there's no sign of it, uh, so uh, I seem to remember seeing some kind of a causeway in the past. Uh, but the conditions are supposed to be, it's got to be maybe a very low tide. There's a submerged sandbank that goes out about, um, about 13 or 14 miles, I think. It was a cause of shipwrecks back in the good old days. Okay, uh, there's the village of Jan Vaya down there with a church. So I've, all, I've already taken videos, of course, of this uh, bit of a breeze up here. I've already taken videos of this area before. Uh, uh, Yanbaya, the village of Yanbaya. And this is a little uh, uh, footpath that runs the top of the top of this uh, hill here. As you say, I've, all, I've taken video, a video of this walk before, not, not too long ago. I was uh, going to extend the walk uh, up in, there's a footpath uh, further up there, where those line of houses are, that goes back to uh, roughly where I live. But I'll just, um, I'll just, you know, uh, go for that little uh, estate there, new estate, and uh, then call it uh, call it the end of this video. Okay, handy for the local dog walkers. This little footpath. say these uh, coastal estates were built mainly for people to retire, uh, live out their retirement years. They're quiet and uh, peaceful places really and you're living in uh, modern comfortable bungalows. This is where I'll finish up this video. Uh,